reimagining india it is a my dream of india yeah of course after so many years of the independence untouchable still have a dream still has a hope still feel that there should be something will happen in this great country because my dreams are rooted with the constitution of india the dreams must come out and it has to flow across the country wherever the citizens are there they everybody must understand what exactly the constitution says the problem which i found we as an a collective we have not understood the spirit of the constitution the values of the constitution is too high and it is an a competent enough to the anything in this world but actually as an individual as a citizen of this great country we have not grown to that extent as an a citizen to say that i am a citizen of this great country there are still there are the many atrocities there are still inequalities there is a still untouchability there is still women are crying for the freedom certainly i am not dreamt for this india our legacy how the dreams we have not taken into the consideration we are just going with the flow the majority of course in the democracy majority is required only for, to elect the representatives not to rule not to see not to actually see the aspirations of the people majority is not at all required i have a dream of my india even in a one individual citizen should not feel that afraid fear scare about anything here people are getting afraid of the power people are getting afraid of the actually the machinery bureaucracy what is this this is not my india which i am expecting this is not my india which we i am dreaming my india is something very different where it is everybody feel equality everybody feel happiness everybody can fulfill their own dreams it is not just my india my dream it is in a dream of the constitution i am saying dream of baba saheb ambedkar i am saying here so that dream why we have lost why we are not even thinking about that winning elections is not in a great thing that we can manage but winning the heart of the the least the last the citizen of this country is the most important are we there if we are not there we have to put our step now why after so many years still there is a hunger why there is a child nut malnutrition why the there is no safe why the minorities are feeling so difficult why the dalits are still coming to the street and there should be a space where we i can express my anger too if i am unable to express my anger that is not the my country that is not the my dream i must have an a freedom to express myself i must have an aspiration to fulfill in where i am really living if it is not happening when we got the independence we had in many villages we have grown to the now 6 lakhs 25000 villages in all those villages still we do live in separate separate hamlets we don't live together it is in a dream of the actually the great country many samsthanas princely states has come to gather and form this great country why it is not to get the more and more wealth and we can't assess the country's progress with the wealth the country's actually the true happiness is the most important that we are not assessing at all that is the most important i am not talking about the education science technology all the great things i am as just want to say very clearly this great country has an so many things to fulfill so without that there are a certain people who allow them to capture the power i want to a country where some people who gaze in a mob cannot control your power at all 
and whole power is in a centralized way and majority decides no not at all every citizen's aspirations must actually fulfill in the great country the power is not to just rule and it is not just to govern the people it is actually to service provide the service to the oppressed marginalized and other people who are all in the needy that is not happening why these are the questions when it comes to my mind and i do see that the places where the atrocities are still happening and there is a people who are coming that why you are eating this so they come and they ask me they question me it is not questioning they enter into the my house they enter into the my plate where i am eating what i have to eat somebody is deciding what i have to wear somebody is deciding where is my freedom where it has gone my liberty of choose my own this is not the my dream of the india at all somebody can come just say that i have consumed something i ate something and people come and taking the life of the citizen article 21 of the indian constitution says right to live life with the dignity where has gone the dignity there is no the people are enjoying the dignity at all there is no security for the life so these questions why we are not taking as a serious and my country if one person killed by the mob for without any reason i feel that it is a failure of the whole country there should not be any kind of a mass killings lynch mobs coming and lynching no who given the name this is the word is for the barbaric and forest also the words are not there now how it has come we have not grown as a citizens not just we have not civilized ourselves we have lost the civility has to improve now we have to grow day by day as a evolution the human beings must every day we have to civilize ourselves there is no limitation you can't say that i civilized nobody can civilize that one day or in a centuries it is in a continuous process and everybody must feel democracy freedom liberty way of expression these are the symbols where it has gone i want to say very clearly i might have born as an untouchable in this great country i lived as an untouchable people may say that many times you are a bangi you are a son of the scavenger how many times i felt bad about that how many times i destroyed my own and how the people when they discriminate how i felt bad about that i want a country where no child of the great country should feel like that and there is in my eyes i have seen the women carrying the human excrete on the head just to get some kind of a food and the roti or something and my children should not see that kind of a scene at all that has to wiped out from the any human society no women men child or any caste creed religion nobody touch the human excreta why why the people are still entering into the sewers and septic tanks and they are losing their life we are pushing them to that circumstances the untouchability and there is no employment opportunities the people are forced to do such kind of a demenial job hazardous jobs and lost to the so many thousands and thousands of the people as it count is saying that it has reached almost like a 2000 people we lost how why where why we are still not developed in a small machinery to clean such things it is still going on repeatedly going on science and technology we are thinking of going to the mars of course we can go feel happy for that we must proud for that at the same time we cannot lose a single life in the sewer and septic tank and i must say very clearly when i die i don't feel even to go back to my own hamlet where i want to die but when i get bury don't bury me in the a secluded separate the dalits where the bury the burial ground that is not my dream so there is a country where everybody living together everybody happily enjoying their own freedom and expression of their own feelings that is the country i am feeling that is a my dream 
the dream of the country is not just mine it is the constitution of india's dream this is the baba saheb ambedkar's dream this is the dream of the many many people who has given sacrificed their life to this country